This is the non-fun part of the process. So the lease is signed now. We went out, checked out the air conditioners yesterday, but now the owners need a first month's rent and security deposit, even though it's like a long ways away, but they still need it. So big chunk of change that basically goes to nowhere. This part sucks. We are all the way to the gym, like eight o'clock, and I am uh, helping a buddy out, uh, Alan. He is a power lifter who is getting ready for IPLs, which is the International Power Thing League. Um, just kind of gonna get a workout in beforehand, like a 45 minute like quick workout, and then uh, helping him. I think he has a big bench day and then a big squat day today. So we'll see, because he's just running his program. I'm there just to really handle him, make sure he doesn't get too overstimulated to make sure we're picking the right numbers and all that good stuff. My lovely and trusty Craftsman vacuum finally took a shit uh, after another year and a half today. So we're gonna switch it up. Craftsman was great. Uh, we seem to have issues with the uh, bottom of it, like blowing out. <laughs> oh, I mean, we vacuum a lot at the gym. Go to Home Depot afterwards and go get a new vacuum and then uh, gotta pick up some other things for the house. And uh, today's literally just gonna be a housework today. So yesterday was a lot of um, like yard work and a lot of video editing. So I got the first vlog done, got another podcast done. And then uh, today is going to be getting some of the kitchen done so you can almost get done with the kitchen. Yeah, that dude's riding a bike in oncoming traffic. That is gnarly. But yeah, so uh, today should be a day full of activity and step. Peace! Cannot be the only person when I'm working out. Like I ate a fair life and a sourdough bread like right before I came. And dude, there's like oh maybe like seven seven people in here. But I feel like if I farted right now, I might clean this fucking place out. And that would fucking suck for everybody in here. Dude, I can't be the only person when I'm working out. I'm like, dude, just once in a while. We're like, holy shit. If I push too hard, I'm gonna shit my hands. Can't be the only person. You guys gotta be honest with yourselves, man. When you gotta shit, you gotta shit. So we're gonna finish up with some calves. My pre-workout sourdough bread and fair life didn't hit at all. And we're like, we're down like 13 pounds. And I only have like about five more pounds to go in my cut, but I've been in this for a minute because we were taking some diet breaks and stuff. And f I'm gassed. Yeah, you're Josh. Later, my dude. Have a good weekend, bro. Thank you, thank you. And I've been slacking, which is why I like my, I'm going down 13 pounds. I probably should be on, down like 20. It is what it is. I mean, it's like a pound, of, it's basically a pound a week, like a three quarters of a pound a week, which is still pretty good. Yeah, the sourdough bread and fair life, like the little amount of calories working out in the morning, like zero pump. Totally flat, feel like shit. So uh, we're gonna finish with some calves. I just didn't buy some tries anyway, because I think Alan should be getting here pretty soon. So uh, we're just gonna finish off with some calves and then uh, help out with Alan and then we're gonna uh, off for the day. Well, I got my days mixed up. Alan is on a deload week, so uh, we are not going to be training him like I thought. So that was Thursday and next Sunday. That's totally my bad. Now we're on the way to the hardware store to go pick a, a new stick cordless vacuum for the gym. And uh, yeah, then go back to home for uh, some work. The issue is, I never know what fucking vacuum you get because there's like so many of them. And we're not gonna roll the craftsman again because it keeps breaking. That one, that one, or 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 that one. I don't know, it's big. Look how expensive these fuckers are. Why are these so fucking expensive? All right, what are we gonna pick? What are we gonna pick? $200 one? Nah, you get what you pay for. It's probably not. That one's fucking huge. Fuck that one. I don't know, guys. We'll figure it out. Getting back with the Samsung Jet Pet 60. I don't know what the fuck that means. Also, Alberto, this shit, I thought I was getting straight up beef jerky, getting some extra protein in. They put fucking bacon in a bag. You guys didn't have bacon in a bag? Is it applewood? I was like, oh, applewood, you know, smoke. Yeah, I'm down for that. It was fucking bacon in a bag. I was like, what the fuck? So I ate one. Obviously, I ate it. But the macros fucking suck. It was way too much fat. Who the fuck puts bacon in a bag? Dogs are in their kennels because they're ready to go run some errands. Let's go uh, wake up the pups. 
Good morning. Who's that? I skip. Hi, baby. He's Gibby. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Ow. Huh, big stretch? Oh, it's Grace. Come here, Grace. Hi. Sorry, guys. It's just me. Who's that? Who's that? Come here. Come say hi, Dad. My favorite part of the day, I'm being completely honest with you, opening up a cold 3D. Oh my God. What, are we, what are we picking today, Grace? Oh, that one's, that one's not like that. Pretty. What we got today? White, chrome, blue, yellow, green. Grace. Any, mini, mighty, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, you go. Any, mini, mighty, mo. Okay. Yellow today, baby. Crack them up, they're open. Uh. Uh. It's Sunday, so I'm gonna put on just a little bit of football for a quick second, just to see how my fantasy team is doing. I got two fantasy football teams. One of them fucking sucks. Like, it's a baller team, but they've been shitting the bed. Like, dude, like I had one where one of my players had 52 points, and I still fucking lost. Just terrible. So, uh, and my other teams, they're balling out of control, so. But uh, I'm gonna see how everyone's doing right now, so we're gonna check in. One thing that I have learned, I haven't been too serious on these on these videos, because I want you guys to kind of get like the, like the other versions of me as well and in Victoria and so I haven't been as serious but one thing I've learned is uh, especially over the last like maybe couple of months as we like had the house we've had to become a lot more um, like strict and tight on the amount of time we spend doing things is I just I just want to check in on this like maybe I'll watch my 49ers play a whole game but everything else like I'm, I won't base my day around things like this because it just takes up too much time so one thing I've learned so far in my last couple of years of being a business is we waste way too much time on things that we shouldn't be wasting time on so instead of just checking in on your phone it's just being stuck on your phone for hours watching one episode or one thing on tv is being stuck doing that and we fall into that too i have a bad habit of getting stuck on instagram and just scrolling through shit and scrolling through shit and honestly i have a bad habit of like just scrolling through gyms i look at gy different gyms i'm just trying to get ideas and that's what i do but one thing that i've learned seriously guys is just taking too much time from what you're doing or from what you're doing that should be productive and putting it in places you shouldn't be so i'm not going to sit here for the next three hours and watch football all the football games i'm going to check in see how everything's going see my fantasy team and then i gotta go do some productive stuff outside i gotta do some yard work i gotta edit some more videos um edit some more vlogs edit some more stuff with gym so um staying productive especially on the weekends will put you farther ahead than everybody else my two cents hey so cute what are you doing well you got a boogie you got a boogie oh i got your boogie for you. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, that's the laundry over there bro what are you doing <laughs> don't bark at me <laughs> who's your pretty boy where you going Ready? Go get it! Where's it at? Where's it at? Go get it! Come on, Skip! So we're gonna have to put a fence up. That's what we're working on today. We have to put a fence up around our grass in our backyard because Skipper has been having some issues with his feet. This is a common problem with a lot of corgis coming into their vet, which is they get like skin irritations like on the top of their paws. Um, I guess it's from grass and from pollen and stuff. So um, it's just been like this year and last year it's been happening a lot more. Uh, Victoria bought a fence, uh, like a little black fence I'm gonna put up around our, our grass and just like limit the amount of time that he goes into the grass. We're gonna put that up. Is mom home? <laughs> Mom's home. Inside, let's go. Come on. Thank you. Dude, it, like I had two left. Said I had two left. Yeah, that's all I, I that's all I have left is two. How's it look? I left, I left a little gate open for them right there. Look at Grace already found the gate. That was quick. Cause you look mom's my gate. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Can you help? Uh, Mentally, yes. Did you leave the kitchen window open? So no, I try, yeah, I closed it. Why? Because if I do, it's just going to flop around everything. Now it's hot in here, huh? Now you're not going to smell my goodness dinner. Now you won't smell my farts. Oh, it's hot in here. It is. I said, did you hit your head again? <laughs> What? 
Well, you're done much. sanding, right? What? You're done sanding? Yeah. Now I'm going to just try to get all the stuff that's on the floor. Like, on the floor. Just leaving Home Depot. The vacuum that we bought yesterday, that Samsung Jet Pet, whatever the f it's called, big trash. Took it out. I was like, for a three hundred and fifty dollars fucking vacuum. I mean, dude, I felt like I was gonna fucking touch it wrong. It was gonna break. It was like cheap and light, and it was like sick, all quiet and shit. Sick. I'm like, give me a fucking shop vac on wheels. Like, I don't fucking need a bitch ass little vacuum. So we did some research, and uh, Victoria and I found a sick ass Milwaukee vacuum. But our biggest thing is like, we need it to be wireless because it's kind of a bitch when you're in the gym trying to like vacuum and everyone's like in the way and you don't want to like you know get in between people have people tripping on like wires and shit so they found like a full gallon vacuum from milwaukee and it's about you can put it on your back you can hang it on something or you can like just carry it around in your hand but it's sick and it runs wireless on milwaukee the uh, lithium batteries it's fucking bad and i'm hella excited because it's you can vacuum way longer and way more with it compared to the craftsman vacuum that we had it's expensive it was like three it was like oh it was the same price as the samsung it's like 300 bucks but i was like damn it's a big ass vacuum but then i was like dude it's cordless and then with the new gym coming it makes way more sense i'm hella excited because it's cool and i love milwaukee and then shout out to the homie age Adrian at Home Depot, one of our members, he uh, was like, yo, they have like these crazy sales on Milwaukee shit. And you know, I know he was like trying to do his job and I was like, hey bro, make your money dog, sell me. The vacuum didn't come with a battery, so I kind of had to get batteries. So instead of just going and spending $200 on one battery, they had a deal where it's $200 for two battery and a battery charger. Cause I don't want to like have to charge it at my house. And it comes with two batteries and a charger. And when you get that shit, it comes with a free multi-tool. Yeah, boy, stoked to get new shit. So let's go see how this fucker works. Machine or what? Uh, new vacuum. The craft vacuum guy. Yeah, and it's cordless, bro. Yeah. And then this one, you can also carry it. It hangs on a ladder. It's gonna hang on a ladder. Like, there's, there's an also, there's an also, there's an also, there's an also, I gotta take it to there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call him, bro. I had a doubt. Oh, shit. Where's your hard hat at? <laughs> Bye. Oh, hell yeah. And it has wheels. Fuck yeah. Okay, but I would say, do not go over the grip tape with that. I won't. I already told you I was not going to. Dude, this is like fucking nice, bro. Milwaukee sponsored me, bro. <laughs> As a gym owner, I need I need a Milwaukee. Because you know why? Because Craftsman dropped the ball. Straight but up. What, what, makes straight up. What, makes, what makes Milwaukee extra special? What about its... Uh... Yeah, it's red and black. But so is Craftsman, but Craftsman has let me down every time, bro. I even made a video. I made a video for them, for that, that funny one. And they liked and commented and they spilled it. <laughs> Send me a replacement back to bro. Do Don't look, like, look at this, bro. <laughs> I've never seen somebody so excited over a vacuum. Like, I can carry it. Like, you don't have to put it on your back. Like, dude, our other one, we should go get the Craftsman, dog. It's how me a twist. Oh, no. Look at that, bro. I could, I could fucking pour a keg of beer in this thing, bro. <laughs> Milwaukee looks out for, you know, for the real American people who need, you know, they need to die. <laughs> Milwaukee knows about girth. I don't want to fucking break it. I can't put it back in. <laughs> Better hold the baby like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, everybody's excited. Carpet? To the carpet. Was the... The suction was too strong. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to divorce you and marry this. How good the suction is on this motherfucker. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Thank you. And you know the great thing is that I have to take the vacuum out to dinner. What's up, Dara? What's up, Mr. Nick? How you doing, bro? Good. <laughs> Good. 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 Let's go. So much power. If I were to give this a suck rating, on the rating scale of one to prostitute, I'm giving this like a Monica Lewinsky. Oh my god. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Talk about us. Welcome to the day of life. Me. 
basically. You need the crust first. Yeah, I feel like on sourdough, but the inside is so good that like I'm saving the best for last. I feel like if you had to service the sourdough worldwide, I need to eat the crust first. I told you we were out of them. I used the last two to pick up for coffee these well. Hey, how about this? I'm, I'm gonna play you for a second. Babe, when you're done with the paper towels, you have to replace them. You use them. I'm pretty sure you, you like the coffee. Whose coffee? Well, that has nothing to do with the situation. No, whose coffee? It has nothing to do with the situation. Whose coffee? It doesn't matter. Wrong trash can, mother Well, you got two trash cans. They're all the fuck supposed to be different. We talked about this. Gray is for recycles. Black. So let me get this right. The entire world, including our own business, has blue recycle cans. Everything has blue recycle cans. Jesus Christ, you probably go to different countries, they have blue recycle cans. And you're like, I'm gonna put a gray recycle can here. Do you want me to spend money? My colorblind husband. You're not colorblind. To know. <laughs> I'm not colorblind. <laughs> that. Oh, I gotta go to my meetings. I'm late. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mama just got her hair done. Ooh, I kind of like this a lot. A little dark without going too dark. You can see it in the sun, a little copper tones. Hey, Jonathan, it's David from House of Gains. I just went to go deposit a regular business check in my checking like two weeks ago at Wells Fargo. And the lady's like, like, hey, this isn't a business account. And I was like, well, I've been using this for five and a half years now. And meanwhile, Wells Fargo is next to my business. Like they're literally, like, we're, we're, we're neighbors. So I know that the general manager is like a member at our facility and stuff. I'm like, well, I, I only use this for business. I've been depositing checks for five years now. Yeah, well, uh, they said it's not a business account, so you can't use it as business anymore. You have to switch it over to a, you know, to a, a, a business account or whatever close it out and open a new one and i was like motherfucker dude <laughs> yeah um dude i'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a roadblock i would see if you get switched yeah and then just get me a letter stating that now it is a business account um oh. i know that sounds messed up but all right i appreciate it cool thanks john i'll talk to you soon brother Fuck. Whoever set my account up like five years ago set up as a personal account. They didn't set up as a business account. So like even though every single dollar that's connected to our business goes through that account, which obviously John can see, it technically doesn't say House of Gains. It says David Fig. And you can't get an SBA loan because it's for a business. You can't get a business loan if it's for a person. It has to be for a business. Motherfucker, dude. These are the things you had to go through. Like you just, I guess you wouldn't think of. So rule number one, when you open a business account for your business, make sure it is specifically a business account. <laughs> so are you gonna add me to the business account now? I can't, because it would take so long. Because I have to go and get all the documents. Oh, because I'm not an owner. So I'd have to refile with the entire state of California, change my shareholdership. Like, now that'll take like a month or two at least. I ain't got a month or two, baby. But I could probably get a business debit card. You can, no, uh, you can, you can deposit that. You're locking me in the car. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. We masked it off and the heat just popped up. Uh, you know what, like, it was one of those things where I'm like, dude, it's, it's gonna happen no matter what. So I'll probably take a razor blade, like, cut them off and the new ones on. Yeah, you know what this is going to Yeah. 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 <laughs> Grace, that's not helping me right now, girl. What did we just get hit with? A uh, letter from tax collector. How much was that? A little over six thousand dollars. What's funny is we just had a podcast about rolling with the punches. <laughs> no. Let's just say, dog, we're in the twelfth round right now, <laughs> and we're taking hits. We got haymakers coming left and right right now. All right, now what are you doing? What are you doing?
one thing about vlogging is that we try to be, you know, as open and apparent as possible because not everything goes the right way. So today was one of those days, dude, where every single thing just hit us in the fucking balls. You know, sometimes you gotta put a lot on the line to uh, to get where you wanna go. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We're squeezing ourselves personally thin to be able to make this business work and to keep growing. And that's part of the game. Got like another tax bill today for our personal property taxes and personal taxes. And we're like, Dude. One thing that sucks about being in California is the more that you can generate, the more you have to pay. The more you actually end up, the less you actually end up with, which fucking sucks. That came up today, and then the bill for the stove and the, um, and the uh, microwave came up today, which sucks. And then uh, our current shopping center, which is one of the reasons that we're getting out of it, hit us with a huge bill today on some shit that happened last year with the property taxes. And they just like now just released it for, it's not just like our units for our entire shopping center, everyone got the bill and it was like not small and it was like dude what the f and they basically said yeah too bad which is why we've gone from like one vacancy in our shopping center to like now we have like nine and we're probably well obviously we are going to be 10 because we're leaving we're going to be open with you guys man not every day is a, is a fairy tale and a lot of sh goes wrong not wrong a lot of shit's hard and today's one of those days man we're just like f dude you're taking like six seven hits in the chin and the gut and the balls and it just keeps happening so we're going to push through man and we're putting everything on the line to uh to make this next location work we're just going to make it happen man